We expect some sort of inconclusivity. We expect things to go forward as we've been seeing them for the, the last few months. As you say, Pedro Sanchez was having negotiations that went back over six months with uh, uh, other parties, uh, primarily Unidas Podemos, United We Can. They didn't come to any conclusion. He's gone to the polls again in a hope to get more seats than he did last time to get a working majority. But he is a prime minister, a caretaker prime minister that's never had a parliamentary majority. So there is concern that we're approaching yet a uh, another stalemate. We're outside his headquarters, the PSOE headquarters, the uh, Socialist Party here in the centre of Madrid. And it's a debate as to whether a working coalition can be created based on how well other parties do, how well his party do. But certainly the indications are, and as you say, the polls are closing here on the mainland. They're remaining open in the Canary Islands for another hour. So things will be delayed uh, slightly on that. The indications are that things will remain somewhat inconclusive in this fourth election in Spain in four years.